Hello, my name is David Rogers. This is a physics two, physics twenty two twelve lab four circuits. Introduction. The purpose of this lab was to use the loop and node rule, predict the behavior of circuits with resistors and series and parallel circuits, use multimeters to measure the actual values of the current and potential difference. Examine the behavior of ohm resistors and capacitors. Main physics principles. Series versus parallel circuits. Ohm's rule. Capacitors. Loop and node rule. Our result, we found for current and voltage given by our online model are the same as predicted values from our formulas. Main physics principles. A series versus circuit. Um... A series is a loop, while a parallel circuit has multiple loops that you can look at. The loop rule is that the change in electric potential difference across a loop is always zero. The node rule is that the current N equals the current out always. Ohm's rule for a resistor is the change in potential difference over the current. Capacitors store electrical potential energy in the form of an electric field. The experiment... The system is a circuit that surrounds everything else. The model, using an online and ideal circuit model in which wires have no resistance and the different combination of resistors of capacitors and resistors are observed. Assumptions, resistance of wires is negl negligible. The resistance of the M, M meter is negligible. Experiment part one, charge and energy conservation in circuits. Simple circuit with two 1.5 volt batteries. You start by finding I1 and I2. Our calculations is that I1 equals I2, so that means delta V over R equals I2 and I1. R is the sum of the two resistance of the two resistors. Simulation showed my prediction was correct. Reversing the connections to one of the ammeters means I reads as negative 0.02A amps. Experiment part one, charge and energy conservation circuits. Ammeter was, played by, was replaced by a volt a voltmeter. Voltmeter reads delta V of three volts. Total potential remains constant. Ammeter reads zero because the circuit is open and volts drop across each part of the circuit. The battery increases it, and then um, as the current travels through the resistors, it decreases until it reaches the amp meter, where it is zero. And the delta V must be zero across a closed circuit. Experiment part one, charge and energy conservation in series circuit. When connection, the when connecting the voltmeter across the 100 ohm resistor again, ammeter is reading 0.02A. Adding an ammeter in parallel increases the voltage to 0.06. Resistance of each element of circuit is found by, the, by ohms rule below. The resistance of the wire and ammeter is 0 ohms. Experiment to RC circuit. The battery capacitor and 10 ohm light bulb connected in a series. The capacitor takes 15 seconds to charge and 15 seconds to discharge. The battery capacitor in a 20 ohm light bulb connecting the series takes 27 seconds to charge and 27 seconds to discharge. This is a graph on the right of that. Time dependent voltage across the discharge capacitor, 9 volt batteries, 0.2 farads, 30 ohm bulb connected to a series. The slope is 1, negative 1 over RC. C experimental, the prediction is RC equals 30 ohms times 0.2 farads, which is 6 seconds. Actual is also 6 seconds due to our calculations. Questions, what if you were doing this lab in real life and you used an actual ammeter instead of an ideal simulated ammeter? What's the difference? The ammeter would have resistance. Current would decrease across the whole circuit. What if you were doing this lab in real life and you used a real battery to charge the capacitor with no resistance in the circuit? How quickly would our ideal model predict the capacitor be fully charged? Would this prediction happen in real life? The ideal model would predict the capacitor to be fully charged immediately, and this is not realistic due to internal resistance.